somehow my mind presented a challenge that I just couldn't refuse. All my dreams when I was a kid to play Major League Baseball, and I think this renews that a little bit. 48 minutes, I get to do whatever I want and how I want to do it. He's back! He's back! That comes in, in playing and challenging the best competition and seeing your game evolve as you meet each and every challenge day in and day out. And when you need that remembrance of dominance, you go back in a past situation and bring it into your mind to get you in the right mood or the right mode to deal with the challenge that you're faced with at this particular time. Everybody knows that at some point in time I'm going to have to stop playing basketball. And I've been given an opportunity to direct the company. Make the logo bigger. I had to approve the storyboards. I gave them certain concepts to think about. Where my life, where my career is at this time. We are running this, this company that we feel can mold and build upon the concept that was originated by Nike. We've kind of taken the baton from them and expanded and taken a whole nother step. Placing this maybe right up above the score. Is it the black? Oh, yeah. My man, he brought a smile to my face. He's to be worn tomorrow. I am here to announce my retirement from the game of basketball. It won't be a, another announcement to baseball or anything to that nature. I'm not the type of guy that just put my name on a product and let it go out and sell. You know, especially with something that's been with me ever since I stepped foot in, in the game of basketball and the pros. So I gotta have input. I gotta put my my little touch on it. I like that. <laughs> I love that one. You never showed me this one. Because you knew I picked this one first, didn't you? Because I like the ribbon. I like the ribbon with the suede and the white bottom. Connect these two. I love it. Represent. This training shoe is about lost words. I just enjoy the game. I didn't play a hard style. I didn't play a physical style. I played a graceful style of game. When you look at events. It's an enjoyment there, it's certainly a creativity there. I think the jump man symbolized creativity, but yet still a joy and love for the game. The tongue, the long pants. You know, it was a difference there that made the jump man. It was my own. You guys are gonna make me blush. the Bucks, nine to nothing here. Oh.
Michael on the drive across the lane. Turnaround shot. Got it. 63 for Jordan. A new NBA record. stars than a game of stars you were the star of stars congratulations on being the 1988 all-star mvp the inbounds pass comes into jordan here's michael at the foul line a shot on elo good the bulls win it they win it Six straight scoring titles, you are simply the standard by which basketball excellence is measured. Congratulations. Seconds to go on the shot clock. 15 in the ball game. Michael will take it. He's fouled. He scores. He threw it up. Off balance and went in. The Chicago Bulls are the three straight NBA championships. I've always stressed to people that have known me and the media that has followed me that when I lose uh, the sense of motivation and the sense of to prove something as a basketball player. It's time for me to move away from the game of basketball. I just feel that at this particular time in my career, I've reached the pinnacle of my career. Uh, I've achieved a lot in that short amount of time, if, uh, if you want to call it short. Uh, but I just feel that I don't have anything else for myself to prove. <laughs>